Um, I, I noticed uh, the former mayor of the city of Lowell, present city council, Bill Martin, uh, came by. Uh, where is Bill? There he is. Thanks, Bill. Very much. It is now my honor to introduce the Commission of Higher Education for Massachusetts, uh, who was appointed that position by Governor Patrick in 2009. Uh, working with the Board of Higher Education, he is responsible for providing overall direction to public higher education in Massachusetts and also uh, helping shape state-level policies that maximize the benefits of higher education to the Commonwealth and to the citizens of the Commonwealth. Previously, he was the president of Northeastern University for 10 years. Uh, he has been a great friend of this, uh, uh, this campus, but also he's been a great friend and mentor to me as well. He has vast experience in higher education, both in public and private uh, higher education. Uh, we are also uh, honored to be partnering uh, with the Vision Project that is, uh, represents uh, the Commission's vision of how Massachusetts can uh, have a more effective and and uh, a more successful higher education uh, system by measuring outcomes. And when he first talked about transparency and, and telling, you know, success rates, retention rates, graduation rates, and when he talked about we need to get the state to give us more money, but we have to show them what they're going to get for their money, and that's right in line with what we're doing at this university. We have a strategic plan that has laid out everything that we want to accomplish over the next 10 years, and we are going to be transparent about it. We put out on our website, and put out publicly how we're doing in terms of freshman success rates, retention rates, student success rates, graduation rates, and we're holding ourselves accountable for, for what's going well or what isn't going so well. So um, we're delighted to be able to partner with you, uh, Commissioner Freeland. We're also honored and delighted that you have come up to this uh, groundbreaking today. Please welcome Richard Freeland. Thank you very much, Chancellor Meehan. It's always a pleasure for me to be on uh, on this campus. I agree with uh, with uh, Dean Golden. The, uh, this, this is the cutting edge, uh, and it's uh, an exciting time at the University of Massachusetts at Lowell, and it's exciting for me as commissioner to watch all this uh, this happening. Uh, there is so much that's going on on this campus. I hope every member of this community, faculty, staff, students, shares in the excitement and pride. I, I have trouble keeping up with it, but if you look at the, the selectivity of the student body, the attractiveness of the campus, the, the quality of the education that's going on, the facilities, the engagement with the community, the involvement downtown, one thing after another shows that this is a university on the move. Uh, I had the, uh, the uh, good fortune recently, uh, Vice President Maloney came to address the, uh, the Board of Higher Education to talk about some of the educational work you were doing with some money that we got from the legislature, thank you very much, uh, uh, last year to, uh, to support innovations uh, around the, the goals of the Vision Project that Chancellor Meehan mentioned. Uh, and it was just so exciting, and after it was all over, my board was just floating on air at the quality and energy that, that is on this campus as reflected in, uh, in uh, Vice President Maloney's uh, talk. So thank you to her, and thanks, uh, Chancellor Meehan, for all your great, uh, great leadership. Uh, buildings, are, buildings are a great thing. Any building is a great thing, but a dormitory is a particularly wonderful thing for a new campus. And getting, getting to that 50% uh, goal uh, is a great aspiration, and I know you're going to go beyond it, but even getting to it, which, by the way, will put you at the same place as Northeastern University after we built a whole bunch of residence halls. So I can tell you from experience that everything the Chancellor said about the educational impact of residence halls is true. It is absolutely transformative edu educationally to get to something like half the students. You always want to have room for commuter students, particularly in an urban university like UMass Lowell. But if those urban commuting students can come into a residential environment with all the vibrancy that that brings and all the social interaction and sense of connectedness with the campus that that brings, the educational results are enormous. So graduation rates go up, student achievement goes up, student engagement goes up, and the level of social interaction goes up, and the number of friendships made go up, and so the affiliation with the university increases, and so alumni giving increases over time. It's just all positive. So this is a great, great step uh, moving uh, this university toward uh, toward that, that goal. I can tell you that with, with a similar kind of effort, uh, 
at Northeastern when I was there as president, we went from graduation rates of 44% 10 years later to 75%, largely because of building a residential campus. It really does work, but it's hard work. And I, and I would say to people on campus, don't underestimate the impact of a transformation from a commuter campus to a residential campus, because it affects everything, and student expectations go up, uh, and you want to be prepared to, to meet that, because you're making, you're making big promises to the students when you say, come live, live on campus, and you want to be able to fulfill them. Uh, final thing I want to say, uh, this university has been terrific, and Chancellor Meehan has been a leader in this, of connecting UMass with the other parts of the system, and especially the community colleges. Chancellor Meehan came to me and said, I want to get more, more community college students coming to UMass Lowell. I want to be competitive and attracting those students. That is just music to our ears in public higher education, because what we want to build is an integrated system in which every part supports the other part. And we know, I work mostly with the state universities and community colleges, we know that the excellence of UMass is what elevates the whole system. So we wish nothing but the best for the University of Massachusetts and nothing but the best for the University of Massachusetts at Lowell because when Chancellor Meehan talks about elevating the quality of this institution and the quality of this experience and when he builds facilities, I was just walking around that rec hall for example, see that is a first class facility, this is going to be a first class dorm. Uh, we need to get the message out to the people of Massachusetts that coming to public higher education is not settling for anything. This is a first-class experience educationally and a first-class experience socially, and it's a first-class physical environment. And if we can get that message out, all of, all of the state will rally behind public education, will get the kind of support we need, and will be able to serve our students <laughs> even more effectively in the future. So thank you to Lowell, thank you to Chancellor Mia for the great leadership at this place. Thank you.